So it's really important for people to have an ownership of the web because it is ours. When Sir Tim Berners-Lee created the web, he said, this is for everyone, this is our web. And as citizens of the world, we have uh, a right to input. Are the youth today engaged in the web? Well, we all know that young people love technology. Um, but I think if you asked a lot of uh, young people if they wanted to learn how to code, uh, maybe you'd find that it's a lower number than if you said, do you want to create? And um, young people are so creative and they're very ambitious and very aspirational. And, um, you know, their, their ideas are limitless. Give them the tools where they can go about and start creating it. That's coding. It's vital that we get young people engaged in coding because we live in a digital economy and to have an understanding of the technology behind the web is really important for a citizen in the 21st century because you've, I mean, it's everything. It's transformed every industry. It will continue to transform industries. And to not have an understanding of that means that you are disenfranchised and not empowered to exist as a, as a citizen. That the generation that grew up with the BBC Micro, with the ZX Spectrums, with all the computers in their, in their home, with the command line, the cursor blinking at them, uh, inviting them to code, they're actually probably more empowered because they've had that hands-on experience of getting a computer to do what you want it to do by, by writing code for it. And the children today, they're so disconnected from the actual command line, you know, where you actually type in instructions. At the moment, we're not even giving uh, you know, young people the opportunity to discover their natural talent for it. You know, all these kind of myths and cliches about you know, what it is to take, it takes to become a great coder. But um, on a kind of you know, broad, democratic level, I think absolutely everybody, I think there's a requirement for having a basic level of digital literacy. I think we're barely scratching the surface of the energy and enthusiasm that we could inspire in the nation and in the world like generally. Uh, there are lots of young people out there and barely a fraction of them are learning to code and doing stuff on the web and they all could be and it's a great empowering skill for them and uh, I think we should be doing more so we're, we're at the very foot of the mountain. So everyone should learn to code for the web but there are two types of learning to code in, in my view. First is learning actually the skill of programming and of building stuff for the web and that's really important because every industry is being changed by it. The second half of sort of the learning to code area is, is learning to code in order to learn about the technologies and that's what we do at Decoded is teach people to code in order to teach them about the technology and empower them with the confidence and understanding that comes from a hands-on appreciation of the complexities of, of some of the, the, the technologies. It's this insane debate about should we teach it, should we not teach it? Um, okay, fine, maths. Let's poll every single young person in the world about whether they want to become a mathematician or not. What do you think the answer is going to be? The answer is going to be maybe like 5% if that actually want to become professional mathematicians. Yeah, they'll be the ones who go off and innovate and come up with these insane new algorithms that change the world. But fundamentally, the person who really didn't want to become a mathematician probably becomes something else. Maybe they become an entrepreneur or a CEO or a strategist. It's exactly the same with code and technology. There should not be a debate about, you know, should we or should we not do it? There is a digital elite. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, the percentage of people who have programming skills. But as we said before, the web's open, so this doesn't make any sense. Surely anyone and everyone should be able to kind of learn these skills. Who's responsible for getting young people into building stuff, into development, into programming? And ultimately, I think it lies with all of us as citizens of the 21st century. Teachers play a massive role in just inspiring in their students that, de that desire to learn it. Because ultimately, you can't really teach anyone anything. You, only have, you can only inspire a desire to learn and teach yourself. You can facilitate the teaching process, the learning process, but really it's the young people that have to catch the bug of wanting to make stuff. And I think the responsibility to, for, for, for giving them that bug lies with parents and teachers, organisations like Decoded, uh, organisations like the Raspberry Pi. The government do have a role to play, definitely, um, and they've done a really good thing putting it onto the curriculum uh, and making it kind of a requirement that young people are taught this. So I think we all have a role to play in inspiring young people. I think uh, everyone feels a responsibility or should feel a responsibility for the web and digital because uh, ultimately all our lives have been dramatically affected by it in, in the last kind of, you know, 10, 15, 20 years beyond um, how we could have, you know, perceived it would. Um, from our kind of day-to-day -day lives but through to also our professional lives. Um, so in terms of our responsibility for it, it's, uh, you know, it is one of the most democratic tools that exists uh, and we powerfully and passionately believe that. And ultimately, it's open. 
uh, we can all kind of have a say and a play and, and a role to, to play in shaping it. But um, opting out of it, which, which kind of happens, um, isn't really an option when it is affecting the lives of you know, ourselves, our businesses and ultimately our economies.